if Donald Trump can threaten and silence Taylor Swift, then he can do it to anybody. It's the last day of January, 2024, and this is today's warning. There are two storylines converging today in MAGA America. Let's get right to it. Rolling Stone reports that Donald Trump's top lieutenants are preparing, quote, holy war, end quote, against Taylor Swift if the pop superstar should dare do what she did in 2020 and oppose Donald Trump. We talk often on this platform about the coming era of retribution politics, the punishment era that Trump keeps promising. This is what it looks like. It's important to understand something about Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is an American and her right to participate, to speak, to write, to think, to assert her viewpoints and express her conscience are God-given. There is nothing that is more un-American than the concept of punishment for political opposition and dissent. It is a cornerstone of American life that freedom requires choice. Dissent is necessary and it is embedded in the fabric in the DNA of the country. What we are seeing is thuggery. This is not worthy of an American president or of the United States. This is the type of behavior that you expect in third world thugocracies. It is banana republicanism. And it is the spine of Donald Trump's core message that if you oppose him, you will be punished. That if you stand up, he will seek retribution against you. That he will employ all the levers of the state its taxing authorities, its military, to do whatever he can do to assert his power, take as much as he can, and anybody who gets in his way will be rolled over. And there is something else implicit in the attacks and the threats against Taylor Swift, which is this. If Donald Trump can threaten and silence Taylor Swift, then he can do it to anybody. There's also something else important to note. Trump rallies team with violence and menace and nastiness. Let's watch a few golden moments. We need to move forward together. Screaming led to pushing and shoving as pro-Trump supporters and protesters got in each other's faces outside of the Anaheim Arena. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. We're winning all over. Do I hear somebody over there? All right, yeah, get him the hell out of here, will you please? Get him out of here. Throw him out. A Taylor Swift concert is exactly the opposite. I went to one this past summer with my 11-year-old daughter, and it was an astonishing experience. 85,000 people jammed into a stadium, most of them women, a lot of them young women, handing out friendship bracelets to one another, complimenting each other. What existed at least for a few hours during that concert was a culture of decency and kindness not a laboratory of cruelty like a Trump rally. A Taylor Swift concert is the antithesis culturally of the menacing mob that assaulted American freedom on January 6th of 2021. It is the exact opposite of the insults and the bullying and the cruelty and the insanity and all of the nonsense that can be found at a Trump rally. And so it makes perfect sense why decency has been targeted by cruelty and why Taylor Swift has become enemy number one of the crazed MAGA movement. Now, there are crackpots like Vivek Ramaswamy 
who now are saying that the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs' place in it, is all part of a grand conspiracy. That the love between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey is in fact a conspiracy at the hands of the Biden crime family to take power by somehow awakening the mob in America to do what exactly, who knows? It's an interesting aside to all of this that another MAGA appendage, the Army of God trucker convoy, has completely dissipated and unraveled under the devouring weight of its own conspiracies turning on themselves. It turns out the Army of God has melted away because they're worried that the Army of God trucker convoy could in fact be a deep state plot to ensnare all of the soldiers who were going in their trucks to the Texas border. Crazy is as crazy does, but the danger should not be underestimated. Taylor Swift is being targeted because she has a big platform and she influences a lot of people and she influences them in a positive direction. She has no apparent animosity for anybody. She doesn't want to inflict punishment on anybody. And four years ago, she said, I support Joe Biden, which is her right to do. The idea that a political party and a movement and its chief lieutenants and surrogates would target one of America's biggest musicians for daring to speak is a fundamental misunderstanding of the role of the artist in American society. John Kennedy understood it very well. I'm going to leave you with an excerpt from a speech about it. He gave this in Amherst College in October of 1963. It was the last major address before his assassination. And it is perfectly clear about the role of the artist in American society. And it explains absolutely why the MAGA loons conceive of Taylor Swift as such a threat. Let's watch John Kennedy explain it like only he could. I look forward to an America which will reward achievement in the arts as we reward achievement in business or statecraft. I look forward to an America which will steadily raise the standards of artistic accomplishment and which will steadily enlarge cultural opportunities for all of our citizens. Yesterday, in Levittown, Pennsylvania, young Justin Moan released a YouTube video. Here's what he had to say. The federal government of America has declared war on America's citizens and the American states. America is rotting from the inside out as far left woke mobs rampage our once prosperous cities, turning them into lawless zones. Taxpayer dollars are printed and used for anything but the taxpayers with little to no accountability, which has inflated the economy to near destruction and has made it so most Americans can no longer afford the American dream. Justin then lifted up a plastic bag with his father's severed head in it. And he continued, this is the head of Mike Moan, a federal employee of over 20 years and my father. He is now in hell for eternity as a traitor to his country. Well, we can say this for Justin Moan. He certainly has the MAGA talking points down perfectly. Congratulations to MAGA, to Donald Trump, Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and all the rest of the faithful across the spectrum from Fox News to OAN and Newsmax. Your message hit its mark. Thank you for listening to my political commentary. If you like what you heard today, please also consider subscribing to The Warning, daily newsletter on Substack.
our democracy hangs in the balance. The 2024 presidential election is the most consequential in America's history. It's not hyperbole. It's a fact. That is why the mission of The Warning with Steve Schmidt is to help readers orient to the currents that are shaping our times and the unseen forces driving politics that are very rarely discussed on cable news. Please sign up at Steve Schmidt, S-T-E-V-E-S-C-H-M-I-D-T dot substack dot com. Again, Steve Schmidt dot substack dot com or at the link in the show notes section below. Thank you to each and every one of you for listening and watching.